Hey guys, it's Lou from Sports Unlimited, and today we're going to check out a couple of our most popular football visors, eye shields, and how they fit with a couple of our more popular helmets. So, to, from my left to right, we've got the Speed Flex from Riddell, the Riddell Revo Speed, the Shut Vengeance, and the Zenith Epic. I've got three different visors on these helmets Oakley on the ends, a Nike visor on the Revo Speed, and an Under Armour visor on the Shut Vengeance. So one thing you want to realize, we get a lot of questions about visors and how they work with different helmets. Really what you want to look at is the face mask and how the visor is going to fit with your face mask. We've had a couple uh, questions recently about what's going to work with the Speed Flex, the newest helmet, and uh, we get a lot of questions on Zenith and Shut and what visor is going to work with what helmet. And really uh, the biggest question you got to ask yourself is if you have the proper face mask. Now all of these are pretty standard face masks for each of the helmets. Zenith's face masks are a little bit more funky than the other ones, but as you can see, the visors still fit with them. And another thing is if you have a big grill, you're going to need to attach your visor a different way, and we'll get into that in a future video. But for today, let's take a look at our more popular visors. By far, our most popular visor that we sell at Sports Unlimited is the Oakley visor. It's a very popular visor with a lot of different helmets and on all levels. Uh, really, I think the number one thing about it is Think of it this way, Oakley makes eyeglasses, so they're very concerned with their optics, and you're going to get a very clear vision out of an Oakley visor. Now recently we found out there's some information that Oakley visors aren't compatible with the Speedflex. As you can see right here, really nothing special, but uh, the Oakley visor will fit on a Speedflex, at least the ones that we sell, and uh, one of the trickier ones is the Zenith, and you can see that the Oakley will also fit with that. So check out the Speedflex here, and you can see the thing that makes this a little tough, and maybe some people are having some doubts, is the Speed Flex is a little bit more curved in the face mask than a lot of these other helmets. So you kind of have to bend the visor in a little bit. We have the standard S2B face mask on our Speed Flexes, and you can see if you have the clips out as far as they go, the visor will pretty easily fit in there, and uh, it curves nicely to the helmet. The Oakley visor on the Zenith helmet a little bit trickier, it's, it's in a little bit, which you can see right here, there's a little bit of a gap in between uh, the face mask and the visor, which isn't ideal, but that's kind of how these work, especially with these prime face masks and the other face masks Zenith has. It also has the bigger tab in the center, and that tab on the Zenith comes up over their bumper, uh, which is a little bit odd. and. Really, you might want to try to avoid this on this helmet if you can, although it will fit. I would take the bumper off uh, if it was me, but some people like to leave the X on there. You can do that. It's not going to hurt you. I would just take it off. Um, this is the packaging you're going to get the visor in, and we'll take a look inside and see what's in here. Pretty much you're going to get pretty standard among all companies now that they're going to provide you with these color tabs. So whatever your team colors are, up here where you see the black, O for Oakley, you can switch out to red or royal or blue or orange, maroon, black, again, uh, whichever color you want, you can get it. Uh, Oakley also provides you with two different clips for your visor, one that works with thicker face masks, which is what I used here on the Zenith, and one that works with thinner, which is what I used on the Riddell helmet. Uh, you're also going to get this little cloth here with the Oakley high definition optics logo which is just a nice little thing you can do to keep fingerprints and smudges off your visor in between games. Uh, the Oakley comes in a couple different colors, variations, a little bit different shading. Most high schools, almost all high schools, you're going to need to use the clear visor, which is pictured on the Zenith helmet. The tinted visor on the Speed Flex, it looks cool, there's no denying that, but sometimes it's illegal. So make sure you check with your league or with your coach to make sure that you can use that with this helmet. Uh, the visor pretty much meets all football standards. Uh, like all of them, it's going to be impact resistant, and it's got XYZ optics, which is what Oakley uses to make sure you get that nice, clear field of vision with the visor on the helmet. Pretty similar to the Oakley visor is the visor made by Nike. Uh, you can see the attachment system here. It's exactly the same on Oakley. The clip will go over the bars, and then you get a couple pieces that screw into the back, and you have a long screw which will go through the front and that'll clamp the visor down and give you a nice secure fit. 
great contour with the Revo Speed here. It works really nicely, and uh, it'll give you that clear field of vision. And obviously, if you're a Nike team or you're a guy that likes wearing a lot of Nike stuff, they'll keep you all matching with the Nike logos. Let's take a look at the box and what else you get. Pretty standard again. You're actually going to get two sets of clips if you have the thick or the thinner face mask. You can go either way, so you get two more besides that. You also get a couple different sticker options here, all with the swoosh. So orange, blue, green, red, and it's included with the black. So all of those are going to look cool. You're going to be able to match whatever you want. And again, it'll fit with most standard face masks. On the Shut Vengeance VTD2, I've got the Under Armour visor, which is one of the most popular visors in the NFL. This is the mirror tint visor, which obviously looks great, but again, you're going to want to check with your coach or your league to make sure you're allowed to wear it in games. Most times, especially in high school, you're not going to be able to do that. Now, one thing with the Shut helmets, if they have the twist release bumper, you're going to need to remove it to fit most visors. If you get the Shut Optics Elite visor, they've cut out the tab in the center, so it's easy to get it up there, but with the rest of them, you're going to need to remove this, and then you're going to need these two plastic clips to go on the face mask to allow that uh, tab to come up into the center. Big selling point on the Under Armour visor is that it's anti-fog and anti-scratch resistant, so it's not going to fog up on you in the middle of games. And it's also got the quick release on it, and it has the advanced optics, so you're going to be able to see clearly through it. It's a little bit different attaching an Under Armour visor than it is attaching a Nike or an Oakley. They just have a a pretty simple system with the clips and then a little wheel here that you can screw on and off once you get the visor inside of the face mask and it makes it really easy to attach a lot easier really than the other two so as far as ease of attachment and then that anti-fog uh, that really puts Under Armour over the top for a lot of people we'll check out the packaging and what you're going to get with Under Armour pretty similar to what you're going to get with the other visors, you get a couple of different color tabs with the Under Armour logo, so you can match up your team colors. You also get some numbers if you want to put your number on your visor, which is pretty cool. You can do a couple of different things. You want to put your zip code on there, or you want to use a white or black instead of the colors that they've provided. You can do that. So a lot of options for customization with the Under Armour visor. A little trick I like to use for attaching visors is to take the face mask off of the helmet and then attach the visor that way. I think you can certainly slide them up inside, but sometimes it gets a little odd, especially the Speed Flex and the Zenith have the chin straps kind of built into the helmet so the chin strap gets in your way, and you don't want to chip or do anything to your visor as you're putting it on. Um, but if you take off the face mask, it's really easy to work with, especially the Oakley and the Nike, where you have a couple different parts there and you're screwing it together, but you can really line it up nicely. And uh, I'll attach it to the helmet and then tighten everything up. So if you need to make a few small adjustments, you can do that, and uh, it'll get you all set. So those are a couple of our top visors that we sell for this football season. Check them out online at sportsunlimited.com.